Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who is winning in this tight race to become president? Like, share, and sub. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscriptions. All right, everyone. Starting with Washington State with 12 electoral votes in the top left, it is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with eight electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Nevada with six electoral votes is light blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with three electoral votes is red for Republican Donald Trump. Hawaii with four electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris and Democrats. Going up to Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona is turning pink and it is 11 electoral votes, pink for Trump, but may or may not go anywhere. We are not certain at all. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Texas with 40 electoral votes is now turning red again for Donald J. Trump. It was pink in prior days. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The second district of ne Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The smallest district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, don't you know, with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa with six electoral votes is pink or red for Donald J. Trump. Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes, blue for Kamala Harris. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris and the Democrats. Michigan with 15 electoral votes is back to being solid blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is pink for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, sweet home, with nine electoral votes for their cousins is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, in a shocking twist of events, with 16 electoral votes, is turning pink again for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, with 16 electoral votes, is pink for Donald J. Trump. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. And Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes, is brown or pink for a toss-up between Kamala Harris and Donald J. Trump. And Maine, the top right, 
is turning once again pink, leaning more Republican. It changes almost every day. And the rest of the states, New York, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, the District of Washington, D.C. City, whatever, and Maryland are all blue for Kamala Harris. And this is the current election map. Kamala Harris with 246 electoral votes. Donald Trump with 193. Toss-ups in pink, 86. If they lean red, we'll go to Donald J. Trump, putting him just over 270. But if they turn blue, Kamala Harris will win the election. Seven undecided and six are light blue with Nevada. Who it's do you want to win? Donald Trump. And what else do you have to say, baby? Make America great. Again. It's bags. And President Ross. And we're out. Out election. <laughs>